12 miles per hour and our high temp today topped out at 76. Here's your normal high 80, the record 99 back in 2005, record low is 43. And as far as precipitation, the thing that fell out of that storm, 7300 today. That's what we wound up with. So you'll notice for the month, we're way ahead of normal for the year. We are way ahead of normal. In fact, we've exceeded our average annual rainfall, our 12 month uh, rainfall average. And so we blow that the doors off of that. Uh, right now, we should only be at about 7.50. Our current temps, 50s and 60s out in the west. Back here in eastern Montana, the same story mostly 50s and 60s, 63 over Miles City right now. They actually topped out at 73, but look at this, Glasgow 86 today, 85 over Williston, North Dakota, 83 over in uh, places like Haver, 81 to Great Falls, Northern Wyoming, a little cooler today because we had some showers there, mostly into the 70s in that area. Let's talk about flooding. You'll notice here the uh, Muscle Shell River at Roundup, basically from Harleton to Roundup, still out of its banks tonight. Yellowstone River at Miles City, that's expected to go in its banks probably sometime tomorrow. And also, we still have flooding on the Sun River, as you just saw, and also the Teton River over by Great Falls. So as we move on here, you'll see what's happening. Doppler radar shows you a low pressure cell that started over here in eastern Montana and now it's moving into the Dakotas. And it gave us kind of a northwest flow of air as that was kind of drawn into that low pressure cell. So most of the track started here. Now they kind of slid a little bit farther to the east. Now Mile City is getting the heavy rain tonight. We'll pull back a little farther and show you that low pressure cell continues to move out of the way. It's not being moving very fast because it's not part of any of the jet streams. It's kind of cut off from the main jet stream. So what we do see is it's slowly moving into the Dakotas tomorrow. We'll see another system moving behind that. That'll eventually in the morning start producing some spotty showers around Yellowstone Park. Then a little wraparound moisture later in the day will bring us some Splash and dash showers by 6 p.m. on Saturday. Even again on Sunday, look for some more splash and dash showers starting in the mountains and they'll spread out onto the eastern plains. So, how much more rain we're going to get? Not a lot for Billings, but Billings and Miles City will pick up maybe 30, 37 hundredths of an inch, round an inch over in Bozeman as that next system starts moving through. You guys in Warland, you're going to pick up about an inch of rain there as well. So, tonight in Montana, we're looking at 40s and 50s across the region, generally clearing skies to the west, some spotty rain showers out in the uh, east, and temp tomorrow back to the 60s and 70s in eastern Montana, maybe a few more 60s out in the far west because of the scattered showers out there. So here's what you're going to see. Uh, tonight we're looking at maybe 64 degrees of midnight, 58 in the morning, then a chance for more rain by noon and at 6 p.m., 73 degrees. Next seven days, pair of 70 over the weekend, maybe a slight chance of rain. Finally, some sunshine and summer weather on Monday, 85 degrees. It'll be 81 on Tuesday, then 70s to right around 80 degrees by Thursday, 80, 30 percent chance for rain. And then on Friday, about 77 degrees, about a 20 percent chance for showers. Let's go back to the desk. All right. Thanks, Bob.